Epiphone Beast. It's one of 2,000 ever made. It is not an Explorer. Explorer has curved lines. This has straight lines. It is one of only 2,000 ever made. It was made in Korea. Uh, it has 22 uh, frets on the fingerboard. has two ultra-hot humbuckers. has a volume and tone, volume and tone pants, three-way pickup switch. And this guitar in particular was dropped by the pawn shop, and it broke the corner off. So I got it for $25. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Um, let's see. Uh, one thing I've got to say right now, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit notifications so you find out when I have more videos up about this guitar and other guitars. Okay, um, uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this guitar apart, I'm going to strip it down, and I'm going to chop it up. Now let me show you this drawing here. I'm going to chop it up like that. The dark parts are where it's going to be cut away and you're going to be able to actually see through there. So, um, please tune in. Uh, uh, this video is going to continue for a few minutes. In this video, I will uh, strip it down, take it apart. I might even do the artwork. I'm not sure. Thanks a lot. Hi. Welcome to Kinman's Customs. Find custom carved and chopped guitars. Uh, if you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't have new videos up about this guitar and other builds. Anyways, I'm going to clue you into a little bit of stuff here. I was talking about the Explorer and how it's different from the Beast and how the Explorer has curved lines and this has straight. Well, the Explorer has a curved line right here. The Beast is straight. These are ever so, ever so slightly curved on the Explorer. They're straight on the Beast. But you could, you could call them straight on the Explorer too, but this one is definitely curved. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off camera, I'm going to take this guitar apart and uh, get it ready to remove the finish from it. Then I will on hyperlapse do the remove the finish for you and uh, maybe do some of the artwork. I might do that in the next video. We'll see. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Okay. Welcome back. Welcome me back. I'm going to peel the finish off this guitar. You do it with your heat gun. It's the best way to do it to get that finish off of there. First, we've got to remember to tie our hair back so it doesn't burn up in the heat gun. So I tied my hair back. Yep. Okay, going to hit it with a heat gun and uh, start peeling it off with the scraper. you got to heat it up pretty good, but you don't want to heat it up too hot because it will burn the wood until it'll tend to flake. So let's see what we can do here. I'm going to get it started and then I'm going to put you on hyperlapse and I'm going to go through the whole thing. So let's get started here. Starting right in the middle here. It's getting hot now. You gotta get it pretty hot though. So just start peeling off. I'm just gonna get it started here and then I'm gonna put it on hyperlapse for you so you don't have to sit and watch the whole thing. Except to watch it really fast. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting down to the wood. Okay, here we go. It's heating up now. Now it's heating up. Now it's scraping. There we go. Now it's coming off. All right. Now I got to start this. So I'm going to go on hyperlapse and get you guys watching on hyperlapse. Speed, uh, slow mo, fast motion, fast motion. Thanks, guys. Well, it's 95 degrees outside. It's about 105 degrees in here with this heat gun. The Hyperlapse was going, the peeling of the skin here off this guitar was going slower than I thought, so I stopped the hyperlapse. I don't want to just make you sit and watch something for nothing, to take up YouTube time. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this for fun and for you. For you. Anyways, I'll finish stripping this down, and then I will show you the rest of uh, the guitar and what's going to happen to it. Okay? Thanks for hanging in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Welcome to Kinman's Customs, fine carved and chopped guitars. I'm back, finishing off this episode. I finished uh, peeling the guitar, they finished off the guitar with the heat gun. Got all nice and clean, except this one little spot. This was, and I glued it back together. See, look at this front, there's the back. All nice and clean, no more finish on it. There's the sides, all nice and ready. But um, it had broken, this top piece from here up had broken off. And this piece right here had broken off, right up top of here. So I glued them all back together. I gotta still get the finish off the little tiny piece. It was too small for me to get it off with the heat gun. So anyways, let me show you this thing. It's got some damage to it. Here. Can you make out this damage? Like here, and here, 
and here all dings and scratches from from when it was uh, being used so what I gotta do is I gotta repair it and that's what my next episode will be about doing the body work on this guitar and that's a hint as to what it'll be it's uh, some secrets that I've got that I've used over the years I've learned myself and I'm gonna spread them to you. So let's check it out next time where I do the body work on this guitar. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit notifications.